Today we get to learn something which we don't get to do a lot of in this channel. Do you agree with me or what, Pedro? I agree. We don't do a lot of learning here. We don't. We don't. Like literally, Google. <laughs> But today we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn how to be a basic bitch courtesy of Whitney because Whitney is my wife's friend and she was in a video before and she was a hit. And all of a sudden we started getting a cascade of comments asking to bring Whitney back. So what do we do, Pedro? We bring Whitney back. We brought Whitney back. And on top of that, we got an i8, which to me would be the perfect car for her because I think the i8 is a car that caters to those who don't know what a supercar is or should be, or a sports car. Yeah. And it feels like it. So I wanna go out there and see how she likes the car because I feel like she'll love it. And also we're gonna do a lot of basic bitch stuff here. And she's gonna, first of all, she's gonna tell us what a basic bitch is because I have no idea whatsoever. So should we get started? Let's do it. Are you ready to be a basic bitch, Pedro? I was born ready. Let's do this. There's something really sexy about this thing. It looks amazing. It sounds amazing the way, it, the way it sounds. And best of all, you don't see many of them on the street. I think Whitney's gonna fucking lose her shit over it, no? What do you, what do you mean the way it sounds? Like, you just have to get in the car and you have cause, to Cause see. it's electric, right? It's, it, it's, it's a hybrid. Oh, it's a hybrid, it's okay. It's a hybrid, so you have the best of both worlds, except the engine is too small, the real one, and the battery power is too little. But I don't think it matters for regular driving. I drove it from where I picked it up until right now. It's amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. This, this is a car for someone who doesn't like supercars or doesn't understand the supercar, and you're like, look at this, you're like, holy shit. And they'll feel everything that you'll talk about in a supercar. It's fake, but it's great. It's like a, a great fake pair of tits. Do you really care if they feel like as original as possible? So what you're saying is that this car is the epitome of what a basic bitch is. That's exactly <laughs> it, but I also, you, you know what a basic bitch is. I don't fully understand it, so why don't we just have Whitney tell us. There she is. Back, I don't know if you guys remember Whitney. Because they remember me. <laughs> she knows, she's seen all the comments that you guys just tag her on, is bring Whitney back, so there she is. You're welcome. Can you, can you explain to everyone what a basic bitch is, and, and to me especially? So a basic bitch is a woman who enjoys the finer things in life. Okay. Like... At a budget. Well, not so much like a budget, but like... I guess a budget, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm kind of a basic a bitch. A comfortable thing. No? Yeah, you are yeah. definitely a basic bitch. Yeah. 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 Basic. Hey, this Basic is good. bitch right here. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that I see my wife doing all the time. She puts sage on her bed before going to bed. I can help you with that. You carry sage with you? Well, who doesn't? <laughs> <Sage. laughs> oh my Hold on, god. Let me see this. We need to cleanse Sacred our auras. Sage. <laughs> you wanna use it on the car? Yeah, we need to spray it. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Your, your nails are very well done. Thank I you. I talked to you yesterday about what we should do, and you said manicure would be the the most basic thing to do. Yeah. Should we go get our manicures done while they wash the car? All basic bitches need nice nails. I, I feel like I do. I left them long oh, so that nice. we can do this. Let's go. I'm gonna show you the car. We'll okay. set up some cameras, and then you tell me. Well, first of all, what do you think just by looking at it? I like it. You know what this is? It's a BMW. Yeah. It's an i8, like the one Tom Cruise had in that movie back in the day. I was gonna day. say. It looks like a Mission Impossible car. That's what it is. Yeah. There it is. You guys. Is it used it to be, uh, uh, they, yeah, yeah, but they had this was see-through before. It's a, it's a hybrid. It's electric and also regular engine. I love it. It looks fast. Doesn't it? Yeah. And it's a pretty design or what? I think it's so pretty. Do you That's like? the first thing I thought was like pretty. Since Farshad's not here, I'm going to show off the key for a minute. Which is not a Rolls Royce key. It's, it's definitely not a Rolls Royce key. It's like a little pancake. Turn your side. Look at this thing. It's almost equally as thin. Like this is great for like skinny jean pockets, <laughs> right? Put that in there. <laughs> there you, you guys, go. I have it under control. And then try this one on the other one. Let's see which one looks best. Definitely this one. <laughs> you want a bigger you, bulge. You, you like the bulgier, huh? I like bulge. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, my lack of bulge right here. <laughs> what do you think? 
It feels smooth. You know, you're... Ah! <laughs> oh my god, it kind of made my legs like lift up. <laughs> a little bit. It's so slow. Get out of here. Get... I think that's so fast. You think that's fast? Is that the sound? It... That's this car. You like how it sounds? Yeah. It it's sounds fake. Like a, it sounds like a kitty. It's fake. No, it's not. It is fake. No. It is fake. So you're one of those people who can't spot when they're faking it. This is fake. <laughs> This is fake. Well, it's only my first time. But it's amazing though. <laughs> Just give me some more time. <laughs> a lot of people are getting to this That's car. fake. This is all fake. This is all coming from the speakers. If you lower your window, you can't hear that outside. You see how it's coming from That's inside? That's crazy. I, I think it's awesome. I love it. Because if you don't want like the... Uh, the oh, because it's everything. so obnoxious. Like if you're eating outside and someone drives by you. So that women person. hate that? Women don't like when guys go in a Harley next to them and they're like... I think it's one of our least favorite things. I thought like women secretly like liked it. No. And no one was saying anything. It's so enraging. We hate it. I don't want to generalize women, <laughs> but I will. But, we don't like but, loud noises. But I will. <laughs> right now we're gonna enjoy ourselves though. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah. We'll go get a manicure. I definitely need one. Yeah, me too. We never get to talk about uh, much about like when people are coming in and out of the show, like what they do, what they don't, like what their relationship with everything is. I just wanna say, what is your past experience with cars? So, I've always loved cars. Mm -hmm. I don't know a lot about cars, mm -hmm. but I love cars. And I tell you that most people love cars and don't know much about them. Yeah, and I believe they, that. they get very self-conscious about it and they think that yeah. unless you know, right? I feel self-conscious about it because they, I'm why? like, I love a car, but I can't talk about it with car people because I don't know. It's like sports. Like, I don't know the stats. Since I don't know the specifics, it kind of does intimidate me. What are your favorite cars? My favorite cars, the Porsche 911. Can I high five you? Yeah, we can finally high five for real. Thank you. That's, I think, been my all time favorite car ever. I want an old Bronco. Have you seen the new ones that are gonna come out? I did. Okay, I what still do you want think? an old you one. You still feel like the old yeah. one will be the one that does you well. So, sure. Bronco 911, what else? I love the Macan. I'm a Porsche yes. person. God bless you. God, <laughs> you're, you're, truly God You bless really me. seem like such a nice person now. I'm so nice. Like before I was like, oh, Whitney. Yeah, and now, she seems and so now. awful, but now she likes Porsche. <laughs> now, she, now it's fine. What's the new car you got? The GLE? Yeah. I love You like that? That's my favorite. If, if I were to get a new car tomorrow, that's what I would get. Get the fuck out of here. It's my favorite. Really? Yeah. Hey guys, take fucking notes. Yeah. Right. I don't like anything girly. It makes you like extra feminine when you get out of like a badass car. I don't believe that that's fake. Like I know it's fake, but it's blowing my mind. This is so much faster than my seat class. <laughs> I love that we're all Mercedes uh, people here. It's a Mercedes family. It's a Mercedes family. Here. We're here guys. Hey, let's go get our nails done. I can't wait. <laughs> Yay! What well, we got here? A couple of basic bitches? Yeah. We high five. <laughs> and we we're, giggled. We nailed five. We did everything we were supposed to do. It was super so, cutesy. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. We haven't taken a selfie yet. The light hasn't been the like really that perfect, good. right? No, we will. We Whitney will find just told the me right that. Spot. Whitney just told me that. Yeah. It's all about the when, lighting. Whenever the lighting is right, a selfie. Uh, no, no, no. A basic bitch must take a selfie. True. If there was like <laughs> the, the basic, the ten basic bitch commandments is don't waste good light. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we getting our nails done? Watch out for that. Pedro. Oh, white BMW. Watch out for that. Basic bitch. <laughs> you can always spot a basic bitch. White uh, 3 Series. Is that is that what it is? A basic yeah. bitch car? No. Yeah. I'll, I'll BMW 3 Series in white? That's like the... Or, no, no, no. Okay, so like that's like the 25-year-old basic bitch. Uh -huh. But when you're like an 18-year-old basic bitch, you have a white Jetta. <gasps> oh! Where am I going, by the way? I, I thought you said you knew where we were going. Should we yelp? Because a basic bitch loves to yelp. God damn! There's so much. There's so much to being a basic bitch. If you need like, information, I have it. What is that like? Rule number five: Yelp is your friend. It's like commandment number seven. Seven. When in doubt, yelp it out. Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when people touch me, or talk to me or anything to me. I, I, I basically like to just stay in my room. Sadly, this oh, guy so always true. gets me out of the house. That's what I'm here for. You piece of shit. <laughs> So let's recap. 
Okay, I sh oh she said God. that you have never worked a day in your life. Never, because my hands are so beautiful. No, what so she said was you have baby skin. Yeah, but then she said that I've never worked yeah, either. Yeah, she didn't think he's ever worked. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, you guys are right. This is the most important thing right here. Wendy, please. Look at you that guys baby got skin. None. The world's greatest oh. hand models? I know that hand. The world's greatest hand model. Once upon a time. What's next? We have to go pick up the car. We're gonna go pick up the car from the car wash and then we're gonna go be basic at the Grove. Is that right? We need a pumpkin spice. We need yeah, a pumpkin spice. We do. Shit. Let's Afternoon do pick me up. This is right. looking so clean. So fresh, so clean, son. It does, so it looks we good. Do. We gotta go get our PSL. PSL. What the fuck is PSL? Pumpkin spice latte, duh. Duh. I need a pick me up. Let's go get our pick me up. Yep. Let's go knock that out. take some pictures. I think he thinks we're gonna go to some masterful place to take pictures, but the reality is. I'm so excited. You know not. how much I love to take a picture. Are you gonna take, are you gonna jump in front of the camera? That's, is that a real question? Oh I'm gonna God. say it in front of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the kind of car that they like have on the lot ever or do you have to special order something? No, like so okay. Uh, what do you think the case is? I think you have, I think that like maybe one dealership in Los Angeles would have one. No, nah, they're everywhere. Really? When they first came out, they were very limited and people were paying $100,000 over the actual price for the car. No way. Yeah. And then everyone got their car and yeah. they stopped flipping it and the car just took a massive shit on price. Like a massive one. Forget about wow. the 100 over. It, you can also get incredible discounts and you find one of the because dealers. Because it's just oversaturated now? No, nobody wants it. The car doesn't perform like a sports car and that's their whole sale. The problem is if they came and said, if yeah. I told you this car is for someone that wants to have a supercar without really dealing with a supercar. Right, right, right. It'll give you the noise without really making too much noise outside. Right. It's clean because it's a small engine, it's right. a hybrid, gives you the boost, new technology, you have like... Yeah, it's cool right? It's a, it's a, it's a, I think it's cool. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's none wrong with that the thing is they pitch it like this is the new supercar that yeah. will change the feel no it won't no. shut the fuck up yeah it's a nice car it's a nice starter for someone who wants a supercar without driving a supercar i do like the idea of just like telling people what exactly they expect to get in a car rather than what the company thinks they want because it's i feel like you would sell even more cars like that no you'd sell them not only that and maybe you, even if you don't sell more you sell them to the right people so people are overall happier with their purchase that is the problem to me i've gotten so many i mean you know how i go through cars yeah i've gotten so many cars where they told me this is the the fastest here this is the, right. the hardest here this is the best in here and they're completely not that yeah and it's fucking disappointing no right well especially because you're like a connoisseur like you know the second you're gonna drive something 
if they're lying or not. It, it became like a, a source of resentment to me. Sure. Like, why are they fucking lying to me yeah. about selling me their fucking cars? And right. now, and now I live my life proving them wrong. Right. It's pretty Car amazing. <laughs> Karma. Car. Car. Ma. Ma. Bitches. C A R. Ma. Ma. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, look at that car. They're on a road trip. They're on a road trip. We're tripping in California. <laughs> I don't take kids out there to California. I'm going to give them the best candy they can possibly get out there in California. <laughs> California. <laughs> you kids get in the trailer and we're going to go out to California. You get in the goddamn trailer, Joe. I'm going to get you. I'm, I'm going to fuck your mom in front of you. Keep oh doing this. Oh, my God. I, I don't know why he would why do that. Why did that get so I, dark? <laughs> he was just, he's so bothered by he John. Was, who's John? John is a piece of shit kid that oh, won't listen to him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's we're why. Still there. That's okay. why. So I go. I go John. places. Johnny's he's such a piece of shit. He's gonna punish John by fucking his mom in, in front, front of him. him. That's so what? fucked up. Wouldn't that be a punishment? What if your like, dad was like, "Wouldn't you do that again? I'm fucking your mom in front of you." Oh my god. What would you do? Would you stop doing it? Yes. Okay. Then. You're. That's great parenting. <laughs> You're ready. <laughs> You're ready. Bad. You're gonna be a great father. <laughs> nice up here. It's very nice and then we have very, to very nice. get our deadline. I like you. Do you like me? Do you like me? What is you the mag mesh. What is the magnet in this car? Hello. Does this car have Not a Do you think this car has a pussy magnet? Oh yes. Yes, right? I it like is, very it, much. It pussy contains magnet. the pussy magnet. Yikes a mesh. We made it. Do, 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 do. Is this nice? <laughs> Very good. Very nice for photos. Let's get out of the car. Adam, what are we doing right now? We're taking some photos of this car. Ooh, the doors go up at the same time. That's gotta be great. <laughs> Let's take photo. How was that traffic? <laughs> the traffic was great. Did you already introduce Adam? I have Pedro? it. Can what you introduce the fuck? him? Adam, can you introduce yourself? Adam here is Adam Bornstein. Let yes. him introduce himself. No, 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 no. No, no, Adam Bornstein. No. Hang on a second, Adam. No Adam intro will do justice to his intro. <laughs> this is Adam Bornstein, the best fucking photographer out there. Hell yes. Is that Thank it? You. Of course. Boom. Woo! There so we go. called Adam because we wanted to get some good pictures of this. Yeah. Winnie, can we I'll let you do your session. job and then you just show us how to model? Yeah. She's already in character. She's ready. But like, what, where do you want me, Adam? She's ready for you, Adam. <laughs> she's modeling while she's getting ready. Meanwhile, I'm like, Adam's just getting his creative process ready and Whitney's just like sticking her butt out already. Thank you, Whitney. Wow, excellent job. You can't bring a basic bitch to a car photo shoot because then there's no photo shoot anymore. <laughs> All set. Are we gonna cool. say goodbye now? We're gonna say goodbye. I think we're good, dude. All right. Thank you for doing this. Of course, man. It's massively Anytime. appreciated. And uh, we're Adam, gonna thank you, brother. More yes. of these, yeah. Whitney. Thank so you so much nice for everything. Meet you. Okay. Hey, hey. I can't wait to see the photos. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Whitney. Thank you. No. Bye, Whitney. Uh, Bye. Good Bye. seeing you. All right, no, 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 for real. We gotta take the car back. That's gonna be it, right? That's it.